Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your morning out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. We're going to focus today on the Waterfront Playhouse Theater. Now, they've been named in the past by Florida Monthly Magazine as the best professional theater in the state. They've had another amazing season, and they're not done quite yet. Their next performance, Typhoon Judy, will be starring my first guest this morning, Christopher Peterson. He is without a doubt North America's foremost female impersonator. This man is no ordinary performer. Christopher, it's such a pleasure having you back on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me back, <laughs> Jenna. Now, Christopher, have you done any productions just starring as yourself, Christopher Peterson? Uh, no, should I? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. I think it would be a big success. Actually, somebody asked me last night I should do a cabaret show here in town where I just sing as a man for a change, mm -hmm. which w wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, all of your acts, Christopher, they do feature your original voice. Yeah, well, they, my voice is usually doing mm -hmm. impressions of other people. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, the show I do at, at Lottie Da, which has been running for the last 12 years, Icons, I do like at least a dozen different impersonations of all the famous women that have worked over the last century or so. So, mm -hmm. Including Judy Garland. That's mm -hmm. why we decided to do her for this show. So Now, I've noticed that in your Icon show, a lot of these women, they're all divas. Oh, yes. So do you ever do the quiet women, Christopher? Julie Andrews? Is okay. she quiet? Yes, she's <laughs> quiet. Okay, that counts. That counts. But you, you love doing this, don't oh, you, Oh, yes, absolutely. I've been doing it for 30 years now, mm -hmm. since I was, what, eight years old. Mm -hmm. So, oh no, wait, that doesn't add up, Broward. Oh no, uh, 20 years old, so <laughs> there, that's a little bit better. So, and, and it's been great. I mean, it's been an amazing run. You know, when they say you, you dream it, you can also be it if you want to. So, mm -hmm. I certainly dreamt it and turned into a bit of a nightmare every once in a while. But, <laughs> but it has turned into definitely a dream come true for you, One, I know. 100 percent. Who was the first female you impersonated, Christopher? Um, it would have been Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. Just because she was definitely um, the icon of you know icon of all icons, as they say, you know she's definitely a, the character that everybody wants to see a female impersonator do at one time. I kind of do a little bit of a spoof on her, you know. It's kind of the the dumb blonde with brains, as they would say, you know, kind of thing. So it's it's she's she's great, um, and. Believe it or not, for lookalike, I did a character years ago called Anne Margaret. I don't know. Do you know who Anne Margaret is, Jenna? No, is that bad that I don't? No, you might know her from the Flintstones. She did Anne Margrock. So okay, okay. So okay. yeah, she's a, she was an actress, a redheaded actress from the from the uh, er, late fifties and through the sixties. She did a movie called Viva Las Vegas with Elvis Presley. She okay. was the lead female in it. And at one time, Elvis and her were like they were kind of pushing them towards getting married. Okay. So she almost became Mrs. Presley. Wouldn't that have been something? Poor Priscilla. Then? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Now, is there a female that you still want to do that you haven't impersonated yet? Yeah, Celine Dion. So, okay. So haven't done her yet. Mm -hmm. Dying to do her. Dying to do. Her. And since I'm Canadian, mm -hmm. I should be doing her. Right. Since you know, since she's part of you know, I love me, but I love you all too. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you should absolutely do that. I would yeah. love to see yeah, that. Yeah, it's very funny. It should be very funny. Now you are from Canada, so how did you end up here in Key West, Christopher? I took a. I rubber tire from Cuba over <laughs> and you know when you land your foot in the ground they allow you to stay here uh, no we're, we're you know I hate to say this Mexicans they call them wetbacks if you're from Canada we're frozen backs we actually cross the frozen <laughs> river you know That's to get good. to America so. <laughs> and how many years ago did you come here Chris uh, in 98 mm -hmm. 1998 at a place called Divas on Duval Street which is now Aqua Oh, mm -hmm. great. We get to plug Aqua, do we? Terrific. <laughs> but, um, and at the time, I came in on a six-week uh, engagement and stayed for 12 and did the next season and the season after that until Mark Barrick, who owned Lottie Da, opened the Crystal Room in 2000, and he hired me for a five-year contract. And here we are, 12 years later, still doing it, So, awesome. which, is, which is really great. You're, so. you're going very strong, Christopher. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> favorite part of being a female, Christopher? Favorite part of being yeah, a when female? You, when you dress up, what's your favorite part? Oh, I guess the attention. The attention that women get, especially mm -hmm. if you, I mean, you don't have to look good. You can look outrageous, too, but I, I would say the attention, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that people, all of a sudden, when you walk in a room, notice you right away, mm -hmm. especially if you've got too much jewelry, too much hair, too many eyelashes, mm -hmm. and too many sequins of beads on. You know, they have no choice but to take a look at you, so, you know. Well, everybody will be taking a look at you in Typhoon Judy, which we'll be talking about right after these messages this morning. Stay with us, everyone. There's much more to come.